Hello everyone, my name is Marcin, I'm professional retoucher and in this video I'm going to show you how to cut out the background from the portrait image. No matter what we do in Photoshop, we always want to work in a non-destructive way and this is what I'm teaching, how to do the things in the right way. At first, I'm not going to make selection straight away um, because um, that could cause some problems. So as I always prefer to be careful, first we need to duplicate our background layer. To do this, I'm pressing Command or Control and J on my keyboard and now I duplicated this. I'm going to rename this into Working Layer and then I'm ready to make the selection. As it's simple image, I'm going to use quick selection tool. Of course, there's few different ways of selecting the image and I have videos on that. So first, let's go over the portrait with quick selection tool. Make sure you are checking the edges. Sometimes it doesn't look consistent. It's, the not, it's not the best tool to actually do the selection, but uh, for simple tasks, it's absolutely fine. So over here, a little bit more. And here on the top, I can try to make the selection. It's not ideal, but that's okay. That's why I'm teaching you this way to show you how to make it in the proper way and fix all of these imperfections. Right now, as you can see, I have two layers. So the selection that I did is only one, the one layer that I called working layer. I'm not going to cut out anything now, but I'm going to work with the masks. Masks are the way to non-destructive work in Photoshop. To apply the mask on this layer, once the selection is done, all we need to do is press this button on the bottom, let's hold it, and it's called Add Layer Mask. So I'm going to choose this, I'm adding Layer Mask, and what you can see, this selection that I did is duplicated, is shown on this Layer Mask that happened here. So how it looks, how this mask looks, and what is the mask, you can press Option or Alt, to see the mask. So the selection we did has the shape of this white portrait on the mask. And what masks do? The white color of the mask represent things that will stay visible and the black color of the mask will represent the things that won't be visible. So now I can turn off my background layer and as you can see I was able using mask to cut out this portrait image. And you could ask the question, why using mask if you can simply hit right and choose layer via cut? We use mask because it allows us to work non-destructively. So it's really difficult to cut out the perfect image. But with the mask, we can easily correct the edges. How to do it? We can choose brush and with white and black color of the brush, we can manipulate the shape of this mask. So, for example, here, I want to cover this area. I will use the black color of the brush because, as I said to you, the black color makes the things invisible. So I'm just painting close to the edge with black color. Once it's done, as you can see, I'm making the edge nicer. I'm removing some hair, but there is no really other way than removing hair here with this basic um, process. A little bit over here because I don't want to have this gray color. If I want to add some other background, this gray color is going to bother us. Once it's done, below this layer, I'm going to create the new layer with the color I want. Remember, if you want to make things look natural, you want to apply similar color to what was before. 
If you want to fix the edges a little bit more, you can apply the dark color at first and paint over the mask once again with the black color to correct it better. Remember, if it doesn't work, make sure you're actually working on this mask. Sometimes nothing happens. And the reason why nothing happens is because we are not working on this mask. So the process, the key is to actually work on this mask. A little bit more here. I don't want to overdo it. I'm going to apply some bright color at the end. A little bit more here. And then I'm going to add some color. It can be color white. Uh, it doesn't match perfectly. I will go with some soft blue color. And this is non-destructive way on cutting out the background from the portrait image. Thank you for watching. If you want to get more information about me, about the retouching courses, check the description and I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you.